Hey guys, it's Tasha. This is my first planner that I've actually been happy with, even though I've been trying to do this for a while now. And I want to show it to you. This is going to be kind of, sort of, a walkthrough, but not really, because I haven't done a lot. I've only had it since June. So, yeah. Now, the first thing I want to show you is my dangle I put on the side. I got this probably either in 2010 or 2012 from Karen Mackey. We were in a charm swap on the scrap beach. So that's where I got that from. And I just thought it was the cutest thing and I just put it on there. I think her name is Coupon... I can never remember. Coupons, Camp Provider, something like that. She showed how to take the other little piece off of here to make this a holder for your dangle. And this is a hair tie that I got from the dollar store to keep it closed. And one of the projects that I'm going to try and do today is going to be these pockets. And the same person, like I said, I think her name is Coupons Can't Provide. She showed how she did her pockets. And I'm going to kind of replicate that process. So I got the two pockets here. And also her dashboard enclosed dashboard but mine is just going to be a little bit different because I'm not going to really attach too much to it I'm going to leave these things like this because they can still be used I got paper clips here and paper clips on this side here as well right here and but I did attach this right here so these notes and these page flags and she used magnets. I'm using these little Velcro fasteners. And this is just my June spread for my planner. And my June monthly spread. And it's not anything serious. I was testing out stuff here with this really uh, reflective gold foil. I didn't want to throw that piece away because I thought it was cute. So I just stuck it there. And I was just testing out a few other things. That's all. So it's no real big deal. I also put in, before I got my hands on this notepad right here, I just tore out some sheets from a notepad and, poked, and punched holes in, in it. But I got this one yesterday from Target, and it has the notepads when you just tear them out here. And I have a coat, and I'm sorry. And if I have time, I'm going to do this other pocket that she did. And actually, I did it backwards, so I did it wrong in my eyes. But it's not necessarily wrong, but I did. I wanted this on the other side, and the pocket on the front side. So but there's my pocket, and there the other part is right there. So, and this is just the, what I did. I took this clipboard that I got several years ago from out of the Target dollar spot and I just put the magnets from the notepads on the back of it so if I don't like it I could always take it off and and but I just did it to make the back more functional so that's how that looks and give me a minute and I'm gonna set up and I'm gonna start with the first two pockets I'll be right back Alright, this is my niece's planner that I'm going to be setting up for her. I purchased this. This was in the bundle with the green one. And it's just one of those hair ties you get at the dollar store. And I got her this one. And I've already put some things in for her. But I'm going to reconfigure them in just a second. And I also picked up these of uh, this set of three folders from Target to do her little planner set up. I also got some easy tear tape that I'm going to use. I got my corner rounder. I just think that when the corners are rounded, it looks a little bit more feminine. I got the dump, my uh, tape runner. I got my cutter and I also got, I don't know if you can see a little bit over here, I have my Martha Stewart scoreboard. So I'm going to be using all of those things. And just give me a second. 
I did not realize that this folder had writing on it that says things to do later. So I'm going to put this one aside for right now and work with just these two. Okay. First, I'm going to cut six inches across. That was the measurement that Coupon can provide. That's, those are the measurements she did. Let's see. This is this. Let's do it this way. So yeah, that's about that's a, six inches is good. So we're gonna use six inches because it will fit in here perfectly. So I'm gonna take my cutter and I'm gonna cut both of these at six inches. Next, she does her first fold at three and a half inches. I'm going to do, I'm a, I'm a score it at three and a half inches the first time. I'm going to score it at another three and a half inches. But she also use a, uses or leaves a two inch flap. So three and a half plus three and a half, that's what, eight inches? Plus two more inches, that's ten inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead on and cut two inches from these, I think these are 12 inches. Let's see. Well, these are 11 and a half inches. So, let's see, that's 7, 8, 9. So, I'm going to come to 9. So it's 3 and a half, 3 and a half, 7, 8, 9. So, I just need 9 inches of this. So, I'm going to cut it 9 inches. and nine inches all right so now i'm going to use my scoreboard and score it do the scores at three and a half inches each something here and forgive me if i get out of frame this is my first time so yeah so it's three and a half here. Three and a half, three and a half is seven. And those are my folds. So let's do this one. Three and a half. Another three and a half is seven. And those are my folds. I'm going to actually round all the corners just because. But normally I would just round the corners of the the flap but I'm gonna round them all this time Oops. And so I just like rounded corners because to me it just looks a little bit more feminine and I know some of those corners are not gonna show but it's okay and now I'm going to move these out of the way. I'm going to, let me round that corner a little bit because it's a little it's different from the other corners. And let me do it on this one as well. Now I'm going to go ahead on and make these folds. Let me get this just in case I need it. I'm going to start the folding. There we go. Pocket one. And 
pocket number two. So let's see what's next. Oh, next is remember these two things that we uh, we cut off. These are going to be the expanders for the pocket. So let's go ahead on and start the process with these. Because I'm not good with measurements, I took the sheet and I folded it in half and it gave me that little imprint right there and I folded each half in half so I got those. So I'm going to put it on here and I'm going to do the scoring. So that's the first one right there and I'm going to actually put this one here because it's the same. Do it that way and then I'm going to come here and score this one at two. Oops. On that side, I'll score this one on two. And then this one is, looks like right before one and a half. One and a half. No, one half. I don't know. It's right there. Okay, now I'm going to make the folds that I need to make. Let's do it this way. I guess I should have just did it with my hand. It looked like it would have been a little bit more even. But it's alright. We're going to make it work. Besides, they won't see it anyway. Okay. All right. Now we need to cut these in half. So there, uh, it's. They're six inches a piece, so I'm just going to put that right there so I know where to cut. Cut it right down the middle. So now we have two pieces. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to use this, because I think this is just to be a little faster. I'm going to put Let's do it this way. I'm going to put glue runner or whatever this thing is called on these. Let's see. Put on both sides. Now we have that. We'll take the first one. Let's take this one. We'll move these out the way right quick. Put this back in here because I will lose it. Put it this way. So I'm going to put this almost to the beer bottle. Not quite. But almost. Do the same with this side. And why? I don't know. I just did it that way. No particular rhyme or reason. I'm gonna 
double these up and do that so the first part of our pocket is done this is the second part don't matter that part is done let's go get this let's get this one do the same thing here yeah yeah just forgive the kids they're in there I'm babysitting and they just will not be quiet I told them that I needed to film and of course it made no difference as you can hear we're going to do the same thing here it's not quite at the bottom and then I just didn't do a really good job of that because of them distractions 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 but it's okay now all right give me just a sec I pulled off this piece of velcro and I already stuck the two pieces together and I'm just gonna cut that in half because I don't want to use a whole piece there we go and I'm gonna go in there and I'm going to do something to those children just a second and that's I'm gonna put it on here I don't know if that's the center I hope it is if it's not I can hold my head at a strange angle and it'll be centered okay right about here now I'm just gonna pull this off I should have stuck it down a little bit lower to this end. I don't even think I could get it loose. Alright, I was able to kind of salvage these. And that's the Velcro fastener. It ripped some, so I just put some more of, of the paper over it. And this one too, it buckled a little spot right there. I may just put a, a sticker or something over that. And we'll turn it over on the back. I have this easy, easy tear tape that came from Michael's. I'm going to put this on the back of these. I see it says easy tear. And I should just tear it. Let's see. Yep, easy tear. Oops, and I did it all off camera. So let me see. Let me get uh, this. I just this is so awkward and I'm gonna put one piece down the middle ish Let me see if I can get this off without with the minimal problems. And uh comes right off. Awesome. Remember that's the easy tear tape from Michaels. Okay, now let me get her planner. Let's see. Let's see. I think I put this one up at the top. I'm going to try to get it in the middle ish. About right there. And this one. To the bottom. What is this? Oh, cool. Nothing. 
So this is the first part. Next is going to be the enclosed dashboard and we're still using pieces that remain from the first two sheets and I'm trying to figure out how I can get this in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out first and I'm going to try to leave enough of the paper so that you know if I have to cut it down I'd rather have too much than not enough so that's I'm just gonna cut it here and here so that should leave enough room to play with and I'm going to use I think I'm going to use this piece. I think I'm going to use this piece. And let me see. I'm going to use a guide. And my guide is actually going to be a, what is this? One of these, um, let me get it out. Sheet protectors. That's made for this size, for that size binder. So I'm going to take this because I'm going to use that as part of it here. So it needs to fold. Let me do it this way. So it needs to fold about right there. So let me see if I can do this here. Because if it's a little bit off, it's not because a Because my piece. battery died. I don't remember where I really stopped it. So... I'm going to tell you, I cut off this piece from the folder that I had remaining because I wanted to keep this part. And I measured how big I wanted it using the protect the sheet Great. protector. But I marked it with just a little pinch that I did right here. So I'm going to come right here and score this. And so that leaves me with this much room to play with. So I'm going to actually attach this to here and we're going to work from there. Alright, I used my glue runner to put down some glue and I actually added a couple of extra glue dots just because. And I'm going to put this at, at fix this to this. Let's see. I'm starting about right here. Make sure I got it kind of even here, kind of straight. There we go. And now what I'm going to do, just to make sure that it's where I want it, if I could find the sheet protector, here it is. I'm going to kind of measure this out with the sheet protector. Make sure I got this open in the right way. Yeah. So, I think this is going to be kind of in the middle about right here would be good. So, let me just going to use my finger to put an indention. My fingernail, really. Here and right here. Let me make sure I can see those. Yes and yes. So let me cut those. Let me get it. Let me align it. One piece and cut the other piece. This should actually fit into her binder perfectly. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is. Without any issues. And if not, I still have a little room to cut. I can still cut maybe like an eighth of an inch. So what I'm going to do 
is should I put the holes in it now? You know what? Let me go ahead and take off just a little bit more. Because it's not that big a deal. Take off a little bit more. Let me see. I can take off more. Let me take off a little bit more on the top here. There we go. And actually what I'm going to do too is round all of the corners. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to have it open up like this. And let me use that this again to mark it and what I'm going to do is punch the holes with my crocodile I'm going to use my crocodile to make the holes and use the big side See how good we did for lining up the holes. And I'm just going to take it and pop it right here in the front. To me it fits okay. It's a, a bit large here, but that's fine to me. I took my corner rounders, my corner rounder, with this thing right here, and I rounded these edges as well. Now let me find I get another one of my Velcro fasteners. You have to give them the noise. It's the kids. I'm going to cut this in half because I don't want to use the whole piece. So now we have an enclosed dashboard. It's a little tricky, but it's all, it's all good. Put that here. Put that there. Close that back. And she can still get at them. I'm going to use this pad and I'm going to adhere it to this side. Get my glue runner. I'm just going to attach it over here on this side. Just anywhere I think it's okay. There we go. The second part we got the two pockets here, and now she has a, an enclosed dashboard here. I don't think I'm going to do that other pocket because I put a sheet protector in that can act as a pocket. And then she has all of the rest of the things. So I think that's going to be good. Alright guys. That's my planner DIY. My very first planner DIY. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I didn't take any of my mistakes out. I didn't edit any mistakes out. I left those in because we all make them. You guys have a good day. Bye bye. Okay this is the final walkthrough of the setup that I did for her planner. Or partial setup. Because she can take it apart and do what it is she wish. I went through all of my dangles that I have. And I chose this one. Since it's the summertime or about to be. So I think it's officially summer. And this is a beach theme. And I think the colors 
uh, go really well with this particular book. At least these are the closest ones that I can find. And let's take this off. Here are her three pockets on the inner cover here. So I just put this there. I just stuck these in just because so she can do it as she wish. This is her notepad and she can move it around however she wants. This is the protective sheet, sheet protector and I just put some dots here, some reinforcements here. And these are the colors for her school. I had these made for her a while ago so I'm actually going to put them in and send them to her now. See the rest of the dividers, the remainder of those. And this is her dashboard and just open it up here like so. And I said she can move it around whichever makes it easier for her. And here are her page flags. Here are some more icons. I call them icons and more page reinforcers. Back here I just put a few paper clips right there. And on this side is where she has the notepad and some more page flags. And that is my niece's planner. And I hope she likes it or enjoys it. Especially with her schedule at school. I'm sure she probably has one already, but just in case. Just in case she doesn't. I'm sending her this one. And if she doesn't like it, maybe she can give it to one of her friends. And I'm actually going to include this little box here that I got at the Dollar Tree. And it's just a few things I showed you guys already, I think. Um, washi tapes. And not a lot, just a few. Like, like I said, just a few washi tapes because I'm not sure if she's into planning like that. A pack of sticky notes, some different paper clips, a four pack of gel pens, some pencils to match the planner, and some stickers that were for the 4th of July that I just took them and cut down. And this is the little piece that came off her little binder clip that I got holding her, her dangle in place just in case she wants to remove it all together or just repurpose the binder clip however she wants to work it out. Alright guys, the noise is starting again and I want to thank you for joining me for my very first DIY planner video. Have a good one. Bye bye.